The Faroe Islands, a mountainous archipelago of 18 islands midway between Norway and Iceland, are an independent part of Denmark. Because of its potential for leisurely travel and sustainable tourism, it has been crowned one of the best places to travel for community immersion in 2021. Even though so many islands look scenic and beautiful, it presents one tiny problem, transport. They used to travel between the major islands on ferries, but could take up as much as a day. So they transitioned to bridges, which cut down on time. However, there was still the problem of traversing the mountainous terrain. So they came up with a simple solution, tunneling. The people of the Faroe Islands have honed their tunneling skills in fine art at this point. Currently, they're engaged in their most ambitious endeavor yet. Let's get to know more about it in today's video. As we stated, a boat ride was the only option for getting from one island to another. However, the seas out here get choppy and the trip can take up to half a day, depending on when the boat runs and how often. The half-day trip was reduced to only a couple of hours when a bridge was constructed in the 1970s between the two most populated islands, but the Faroe Islands tunneling boom started in the 1960s. The Faroese, with some assistance from the Norwegians, developed considerable expertise in tunnel excavation. A total of 20 have been constructed over the previous 60 years, with each one passing over a challenging terrain feature such as a small fjord, a mountain, a hill, or even the ocean itself. The current population of the area served by these tunnels is just 53,000. The Faroe Islands are now adding two more underwater tunnels to their extensive network of tunnels. This is its most significant expenditure to date, costing close to $700 million. The capital city, Stremoy, and the island of Eusteroy are connected by the 11-kilometer-long Eusteroy Tunnel, which opened in 2020. It's anticipated that the second Sandoy Tunnel will open in 2023, linking the sparsely inhabited settlements of Sandoy to the more incredible Straymoy infrastructural network. People in the Faroe Islands no longer have to load their automobiles aboard ferries to cross the sea. Because of the Eusteroy Tunnel, more remote communities may now access the mainland and the island's primary services. The trip to the nation's capital is now a breeze, cutting down on time spent in transit by more than an hour. The spectacular new infrastructure makes the trip even more impressive. They spared no expense to make this tunnel the second longest one in the world that cars can drive through. While traveling the eight minutes under the water, you may listen to a radio station tailored to suit the atmosphere. And then there's the famous roundabout. This huge pillar of colorful rock, which resembles a jellyfish from afar, may be found 72 meters below the surface. The underwater roundabout is especially remarkable since it resembles a giant jellyfish. Faroese artist Trondur Patterson designed the roundabout center pillar to glow a marine blue color. The natural rock removed during the tunnel construction's blasting process was used to create the central post. An artwork by Trondur Patterson wraps around the center pillar. The 80-meter steel installation depicts life-size human people holding hands as they circle the intersection. These people seem to be worshipping a volcanic fire by staring into it, although it may just be their imagination. The colorful tunnel network connecting the two biggest islands in the Faroe Islands is quickly becoming a significant lure for international tourists. So maybe the Faroe Islands didn't have only transportation issues in mind. Regardless, let us talk a bit more about the first underwater roundabout. To start, it's one of the most exciting features of any road in the world and the roundabout that stands 72 meters below the surface of the water is a big part of that. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. Travel time between the capital city of Torshaven and the second most populated island, connected by a network of underwater tunnels measuring 11.2 kilometers or 6.9 miles, has been reduced from over an hour through the island's rugged roadways to only 15 minutes thanks to the new tunnel. It's anticipated that the completion of the Eusteroy Tunnel undersea tunnel network in December 1920 would have profound impact on the Faroese way of life by forging new links between the island group's people, regions, and businesses. Here at a depth of 72 meters is the first underwater roundabout in the world. Two tubes link the two bays on the fjord on the island of Eusteroy, reducing the distance between them from 25 kilometers to barely 5. In addition, the tunnel will cut in half the travel time between Torshavan and Klaxvik, 
the two major cities in the Faroe Islands, from around 70 minutes down to about 35. While we admit the tunnel is quite aesthetically pleasing, that's not all there is. To let visitors safely appreciate the tunnel's unified expression, engineers installed a sophisticated rain and wastewater system under the roadway, consisting of pumps and kilometers of pipes to divert surface water and rain away from the tunnel's technical installations and the carriageway. Water is diverted away from the roadway and the gratings through pipelines to the tunnel's lowest point, where powerful 16-bar pumps bring him back to the surface and out into the fjord. Thousands of cars use the Eusteroy Tunnel every day. Although the toll is steep at $25 a vehicle or $10 with an annual pass, the money generated from the tolls will be used toward the tunnel's upkeep, expansion, and eventual completion. Approximately 260 million euros were invested in the construction of the Eusteroyad Tunnel by the Faroe East Public Limited Company. The toll to use the Eusteroy Tunnel is 75 Danish krona, which is around $10 one way and is charged immediately when a camera scans your license plate. The one-way toll is now at 175 kronor, or $25, unless you pay for an annual pass. It's planned that future tunnel construction in the Faroe Islands will be financed by the revenue generated by this new tunnel. The Faroese are unrivaled when it comes to constructing underground tunnels. We adore them. 53,000 people live on the 18 islands that make up the Faroe Islands and 20 tunnels, including three long tunnels beneath the ocean. Two more are now being built, while a further 14 are either planned or desired. The tunnel from Suroy, the southernmost island in the Faroe Islands, to Sandoy, the largest of the prospective tunnel projects, is now under construction. Approximately 22 to 24 kilometers, or 13 to 15 miles in length, the tunnel is projected to cost roughly 3.4 billion Danish kronor, or 450 million euros, to construct. It will be the longest undersea tunnel dedicated to vehicular traffic worldwide. The small, peaceful country of the Faroe Islands is reaping the benefits of significant investments of time, money, and expertise into its infrastructure. A new tunnel may be the difference between being able to commute to work, visit relatives, or even get to a hospital and being stranded on the opposite side of turbulent seas. The tunnel construction boom in the Faroe Islands shows no signs of slowing down, with two new tunnels now under construction and another 14 in the planning stages. However, we'll have to wait and see what the future holds for our Faroe Islands. So there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments below. With this, we're gonna wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to Madewell Finder for more incredible videos. Thank you for watching.